Well, I'm finally getting around to doing the neck banding. Unfortunately, I have some assistance, <laughs> whether I want it or not. So once I get the neck banding on and cover stitched in place, I will go and serge this shoulder piece section. See how it's, I know it's kind of hard to see right now. It's late at night, so. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna slightly stretch it as I go and get this on. So here we go. I'm finally getting around to hemming this. So finishing up, getting there. Um, I just wanted to show you real quick. I use my clips. I, I'm bad about, I'll just kind of fold it and eh, okay, that looks good. Um, sometimes I'll measure it, but because this isn't quite perfectly straight, um, I mean, it's still pretty straight, but there's a little bit like right there, and then the way I wanted it to lay, so I kind of hold it up, I check, I move these around, and I get it where I want it to be. So I am now finally ready to hem this thing. Uh, and then the other thing, I kind of got ahead of myself, and I did add sleeves. Um, I have the binding on, that's the neck. I know it's kind of hard to see, where is it? Okay. So here are, let me get back, here's the sleeves, um, they're kind of flap slash, uh, or cap slash flutter sleeve, a little bit, I have a thread, oh, I may need to go back, I think, uh, I think my, yep, I gotta redo it, cause my machine, uh, broke the thread right there brand new machine still working out the kinks but um so what I did is actually no that's the original hem I'm gonna go back and fix what they originally did because I didn't do that one mine's good okay so I surged them in place here's my surged hems I went and I partially undid inside the arm here I undid that a little bit so that way I could serge it because there was extra fabric here to get it to fit got it where I wanted it and then I went and surged this back up so you can kind of see where I went back over it right there so that's my sleeves so let me get this hemmed and we can try it on There's something just satisfactory about hemming. It's like that nice finishing touch. So I have it done. I think I'm officially done. Well, I need to go real quick and tie in these threads. So that way uh, I'm gonna weave them back in and time to try it on. Yeah. Real quick, this is how I uh, I use a yarn needle to pull my tails through. I weave it kind of back in. I'm sliding it back in. You have to do this with, uh, you have to lock surging thread ends in some way, whether it's through a hem or uh, weave it back in because they can come undone. So I just pull this through. It's kind of hard one-handed. And, uh, and I'll trim this off. And that is how I get it back in. Actually, I'm gonna, I pulled it too tight, but let me fix this. And, but that's how I get those tied in. 
<laughs> so here's the final link. This is after it being hemmed. <laughs> I have a silly one. Um, here are the cap sleeves. Or well, they're not really fully cap sleeves. But these are the sleeves. See how they're flowy. Um, and I did move the pockets. So the pockets are now here because they were all the way down to here. So uh, I did not want pockets at my knees. So this is what it looks like. And, uh, and I have some silly ones.